In this video, I will break down Kimmich's positional evolution, what his role is and how good he can be in the central midfield, and then at right back and center back, while also looking at how best he can be used for Germany and Bayern Munich, and potentially another side as well should he decide to move on with just two years left on his contract at Bayern Munich. There is a similar video about David Alba's positional evolution on the Atlantis Football YouTube channel which is linked in the description down below. So make sure to check that out right after you finish this video. And quickly before we start, if you want to see more informative football videos, make sure to subscribe with the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get into it. So Kimmich came through at Stuttgart, moved on to RB Leipzig, and then on to Bayern Munich, all before the age of 20. During his year under Pep Guardiola from 2015 to 2016, Kimmich was used at right back, center mid, and center back. This was due to his ball playing ability which meant he was an excellent distributor of the ball from deep in the build phase, suiting the roles of a deep lying midfielder or ball playing center back, while also having the defensive awareness, positioning and tackling ability to play any of those three positions to a high standard. After Guardiola, Kimmich seemed to be predominantly a right back, who could also play in a central midfield and would also become the best right backs in the world. But by 2020, Kimmich was playing majority of the time as a deep-lying central midfielder alongside Thiago in a double pivot in a 4-2-3-1, which saw Bayern to go on to become champions of Europe. But where is Kimmich's best position? Well, let's break down his role and how effective he is in each position. So at right back, Kimmich is one of the best in the world. Kimmich is solid both positionally in one-on-ones and going forward, he makes the passing ability and vision of a central midfielder, while also being a very good crosser, making him a major attacking threat. He can play as an overlapping right back, holding his width and pushing forward down the flank to get into crossing positions, but he could also be used as an inverted full back starting wide and drifting infield, taking up the position of a deep-lying midfielder, and this role would allow him to use his incisive and long-passing abilities most effectively. I would say that Kimmich is the best inverted fullback in world football because of the combination of his attributes. But Kimmich is also a world-class when playing as a deep-lying central midfielder, either in a double pivot or as the single pivot in a midfield three. Kimmich's awareness and tactical intelligence makes him perfectly suited to a deeper lying midfield role. On the ball, he's press resistant and recognizes not only when to release the ball, but also where to release the ball. A lot of deep central midfielders will focus more on just ball retention than ball progression, and as England showed against Scotland, this can lead to a lot of circulation of the ball without much penetration in behind the opposition's press. Yet Kimmich is not just a player who is excellent at progressing the ball into the final third, he is also a very good creator, and we can see this when we look at his creative metrics. Playing in central midfield this season, Kimmich completed the most key passes of any central midfielder in the Bundesliga, with 2.7 per 90, and the 7th most of any player in the league, which is an absolutely outstanding creative return from someone who is usually described as a deep-lying playmaker. It's very unusual for a player to be world-class in two different positions. Kimmich can also play as a ball-playing center back if needed as well, and this is definitely a role I can see him moving into the next few years. In the back two, Kimmich would bring the ball-playing ability that managers like Pep Guardiola and Marcelo Bielsa demand for their center backs. And in possession, Kimmich's passing ability would take any side's possession game to the next level, with him progressing the ball from the defensive into the midfield third and then when in the middle third he would essentially become a deep-lying playmaker. I think Kimmich would be the perfect player to play the role of a libero in the center of a back three, striding out and being the sidesman ball progressor. He could also be used as a right-sided center back in the back three, as this would allow him to find space easily because sides tend to leave these wide positions open when they drop into a defensive shape. But also when pushing forward, Kimmich in some situations could become a conventional right back, under and overlapping the right wing back ahead of him and getting into crossing positions where we know he can create chances from. So where do I think Kimmich's best position is? Well at the moment for Bayern Munich and Germany, I think he has to play as a deep lying central midfielder in a playmaking role. This is because his chance creating ability is just too good to ignore. An example of this was in a game against Schalke earlier in the season. So as you can see here, Kimmich receives the ball in front of the whole Schalke defensive system and plays a perfect driven vertical pass 
over the back line into Gnabry, who finishes the chance that came out of nothing but Kimmich's vision and long passing ability. And then later on in the match, Kimmich's positional awareness can be seen here as he pushes up the pitch into the space created by the vertical distance of Schalke's defensive and midfield lines expanding. He receives the ball and straight away is looking for a penetrating pass which he finds with a great pass into Lewandowski, setting him through on goal and leading to the Polish striker being brought down in the box. It's this creative ability that makes Kimmich so good in central midfield, and unless he's playing as an inverted fullback or as a ball-playing centre-back in a liberal role, given the freedom to push forward, then this ability is being wasted. However, let's say if Kimmich were to move to a Pep Guardiola side, I could easily see him following the tactical evolution of Javier Mascherano dropping into the back line and becoming the sidesman distributor from deep. Equally in Pepman City's side, I could see Kimmich being used as an inverted left or right fullback alongside Cancelo on the other flank and moving infield to create a 2-3 shape alongside Rodri ahead of the two center backs. So wherever Kimmich eventually ends up, he will with no doubt continue to be a world-class player and at 26 it seems like he will likely go down as one of the greatest central midfielders or right backs of all time if he sustains the output he has shown over the last 4 or 5 years. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because I upload almost every single day and I'll see you in the next one.